Hi, this is Saurabh from AI Sensei. Today, we are going to talk about how you can configure responses for your WhatsApp chatbot using Google's Dialogflow. Before starting this video, I am assuming that you are already aware of the basics of Dialogflow. So I'll be getting directly into WhatsApp response configuration. So I'll tell you how you can configure your WhatsApp responses, how you can add media cards, how you can add images, how you can add text, how you can format your text, how you can make your text bold, italic, and all the possible format that WhatsApp provides us. So let's get directly straight into this video. For this video, I have created a new agent and the name of this agent is WhatsApp responses. So we have two basic intents, default welcome intent and default fallback intent. I'll be taking the default welcome intent and I'll tell you how you can configure all the responses so that bot can show you those responses to your customers. I am inside the default welcome intent and you can see context, events, training phrases and everything is there. Currently we are focusing only on the responses part. We are not covering training phases, events or anything like that. Our core focus is on how we can configure responses for our WhatsApp chatbot. So here you can see the default response is here and in the default response you have so many text responses and what you can do is like you just simply delete them if you don't need them. To add a response what you have to do is just click on add responses and add a text response and in the text response whatever you want to provide them as a text, whatever you want to show to your users as a text, you can put that text here. So as a welcome message, if I want to tell my user, hi, this is AI Sensei's chatbot. So I'll be putting, I am AI Sensei's chatbot. This will be your welcome message. If I save this one, so this is your basic text response, okay? So this is the very basic text response. Uh, now we are going to learn how we can play with that. So things are same as the WhatsApp response. Okay, how you type your responses in the WhatsApp text section. Whatever the customizations are present in the WhatsApp app, you can do the same customizations here. How? Let me show you. If you add two asterisks, you can see on the right side, this response will be coming as a bold text. If you want to make your text italic, what you have to do is simply remove the asterisks and put underscores. So on the right side, you can see the responses that are coming in your WhatsApp chatbot. These are the very basic text response that you can configure inside the Google's default response. And if you want to add a new line to your text response, what you have to do is just press shift and enter simultaneously. If I press shift enter simultaneously here you can see i am coming to a new line so in the new line i can add more text Let's say i am ai sensei chatbot how can i help you so in this way you can add a new line to your text responses now if you want to break the message if you want to send user two messages two text messages what you have to do is after your first text response you have to put two semicolons and in the WhatsApp response, it will break your text into two separate chat bubbles as you can see on the right side of your screen. So now what about media? If you want to show some images, it could be a video or it could be a document. Let's take an example. If a user asks or your bot responds for a query, show me the brochure. So you have to send a file to the user. So how you can send a file to the user? how you can send a video to your user or how you can send an image to your user. To configure those responses, what we have to do is for AI Sensei platform, we have a specific type of customization. So what you are going to do is click on this plus button and click on Google Assistant. Under Google Assistant, click on add responses and select a basic card. So here you can see this is the format of your basic card. Now how we can configure this basic card for WhatsApp. So this is a very important question that how we can configure this basic card for our WhatsApp responses, for our media, for our images, for our video, it could be a file. So how we can configure this 
card for our rich media response. So this is very important to note that what you have to do is you can see we have one, two, three, four and five sections. We are not going to deal with web link title or web link. These are two extra sections that we are not going to use in WhatsApp responses. To make a rich media response, we need some files so that user can download it on his WhatsApp number. So we have to put a URL for that file into first row, enter image URL. Apart from image URL, you can use your video URL, you can use your GIF URL, you can use your file URL. So whatever the type of file is, you have to put that URL in the first row of this basic card. The first, the, the name of first row is enter image URL. So you have to put whatever the URL you want to send, whatever the type of file you want to send to your user, you have to put that URL on the first row of this basic card. So now we are done with URL. In the second row, we can see image accessibility text. So what you can do is, you can put the name of file in the accessibility text. Let's take an example. I want to send an image to my user. I go to Pexels. Let's assume I want to send these kids image to my user. So I just copy this address and I paste this address here. And in the image accessibility text, I can put to children. So now I have put the URL, I have put the accessibility text. Now we remain with three sections, enter title, subtitle or text. So title is not that important. What is important is the subtitle. So subtitle will be the type of file that you want to send. So we have very specific types for each kind of file. You have to be very careful while putting the name of that file. Okay. So this file is an type of image. So in the subtitle, I have to type I M A G E image all will be in caps image. And if this file is supposed to be a video, you have to put V I D E O all in caps. And if this file is type of some document, it could be some PDF, it could be some PPT. You have to put F I L E file. So these are the three types F I L E file for PPTs for PDFs, I M A G E image for type image. It could be some image file in the JPG or PNG format and for video in the .mp4 or it could be .avi format. So you have to put VIDIO. Now we are done with the file type. In the enter text section, you can enter your text. If I want my user to see the text image of two children. So I will write image of two children. And if I save this one, so on the right side, you can see how you can see this response on users WhatsApp chat. In this way, we configure all the responses. I M A G E image for file type image, V I D E O video for file type video and F I L E file is for file type PPT, PDF. These are the three specific types of file that you can send through AI Sensei platform. Right now we are not dealing with webling title. One more thing to notice here is for file, if you are sending some brochure, if you are sending some PPTs, if you are sending some PDF, you might need to enter the title like what's brochure. So you can enter say sales brochure. So once you save this as a title, it will be coming as a title of that particular file. So be aware of that. You have to specify the type of file that you are sending in this basic card. Now I'm going to repeat everything for once to make a default response, to make a very basic text response, you have to use just default text response. So it will be coming as a text response for your user. If you want to send rich media text, you have to go to Google assistant, select a basic card. You have to be very careful. 
only the basic card is going to work in the basic card in the image url you have to put the url for the file in the accessibility text you have to put the reference of the file the name of the file in the title you have to put the name that you want to show to the user accessibility text is for your own but the title is for the user so whatever the title you are sending to your user it should be present in the enter title and in the subtitle you have to specify the format of file that you are going to send and in the text you have to put your own text you can put your own text and in the right side you can see how this card will look like in your bot's whatsapp response so in this way you can configure all the responses for your whatsapp response if you are sending a text response you don't need to send a media response you don't need to use google assistant response in the next video i'm going to tell you how you can connect your chatbot to ai sensei platform and how you can test your own chatbot on your own number so this is all for this video i hope you are going to like it thanks and have a nice day